Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can download a OneNote and install it onto macOS. Okay, so we're going to kind of do this one through sharing one of our resources at the same time. We have a couple of student guides and specifically with these student guides, what they're designed to do is for teachers to just download the entire OneNote and then distribute the pages for the students um, accordingly. So we're going to do the Mac OS one. I'll do a separate video for Windows. Windows is a little bit simpler. There's a few extra steps when it comes to Mac. So let's do it as an example. And you might have come across this before um, with a different OneNote on a Mac and you've really struggled to load it. So we're going to have a look here. This is um, these here. I'll put the link to these as well if you're interested in these student guides. But I've got this ability here to, let's say, download this Mac version. Um, so if I click on that, that's going to load up the location of that. And I'm just going to switch in to uh, incognito window just so it's the same experience as what you're going to get. So we've got this Mac OS um, experience happening here. And so what we need to do, and you'll always notice that when it's kind of for a Mac OS, if you actually open up the folder, it has a, the structure is a little bit more complex um, and kind of has everything in there, but you need to load it all as one. So don't worry about going into that folder. All you need to do initially is just click that folder and then choose to download it. Now, specifically um, in this um, OneDrive section is this link here to this document. And this one helps in particular. And I will put this importer link into the description below, but this is designed just to kind of work straight off the bat. So you do need to go to the OneNote importer link, and then you'll need to go through the signing process. So, and then we land here. And you will not kind of notice it gives, gives it away a little bit here. Save your OneNote content. To OneDrive, be sure um, to select the folder, not the zip file. So that part's going to be pretty important. So to double check that, so on our Mac, I would have downloaded that, so which means it would have gone straight into my downloads, and there it is there. So if it isn't unzipped on a Mac, you're just probably just going to double click, and then you're going to get it there. But it should, as you can see here, it did actually place it in as an unzipped item as well. So we make sure that's done first, so then we just click on Import. And then it's going to ask us, you know, where it is. So it should be here in my downloads. There it is there. Select the folder. And then I'm going to start doing that. So it's going to say it wants to do an upload. So we're going to allow that upload. And then we basically wait for that import to start. So that may take a few seconds. You may need to wait a little bit for that to happen. But you'll get this purple tick. And it will say that you have the ability to view the notebook. So from there, we're going to click view the notebook. That's going to start to load it up. It's going to show you where that is in your OneDrive. And mine's having a little bit of a think. And then it will open up the actual resource itself. So um, like most notebooks, depending on the size of them, we might need to wait for them to load. Um, and this will still be loading in the background. So um, this one, slightly different notebook here that we have. But essentially now, because it's been saved into my OneDrive that I've nominated it to, um, I can then just click open in desktop app. And then once I've kind of done that, we're back to that same process as to where I can just move it's my copy. I can do what I want with it. I can place it into another notebook. I can distribute from that notebook into my class notebook, which is ideal for my students. So that's how you end up getting your own copy. I hope you find that really useful. Uh, if you're looking for the Windows one, I'll post that in as a separate video, but all the links that you'll need for everything are in the description. We'll see you again soon. Cheers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.